framework. I love it. It's a great idea. Mac, I'm totally going off of actually. They're, we're locked into devices, aren't we? You have to, iPhones, everything is sealed and you can't really do anything to it. Um, I think some of the Macs you can, some of the Mac minis you can replace from, but that's rubbish. You want a life out of it. I mean, looking at that, it looks like I can pull out the whole CPU unit and put another one in the future, which is amazing. Because I mean, why would I need to replace the screen? The screen is great. Why would I need to replace the keyboard? It's still working. Do you know what I mean? It's just crazy. But Apple want you to buy a new thing. And they're very smart. I was thinking about this the other day. They, their marketing department's absolutely nailed it because their numbering and the way that they do things is really, really simple. So with the in new Intel chips, Ultra 2, 5, whatever, I have no idea. Don't know what's faster than what. Have no idea. Bigger number, possibly. Even the graphics card manufacturers have sort of got it nailed a bit like 5060. The 5070 must be better. The 5080 must be better. The 5090 must be better. But with PC chips, you, you sort of have no idea what you're getting. I mean, like Ryzen 9, 7, 5, you mean 9? What does that mean? Mac have nailed it, haven't they? Every time they bring something out, it's just incremental. So the M4 is faster than the M3. The M3 is faster than the M2. Oh, and he's finished it. There you go. Talked over the top. But yeah, they've sort of nailed it. And they've made it very easy for a consumer to go, that must be faster. I'll buy that. And that doesn't exist in the PC world. It's so complicated and so convoluted. There's the laptop. All done. So now we're going to whiz in a march here. We'll spread this bit up for you as well. 